Recently, PlayStation have updated the PSVR 2 so it can be used with a PC. And recently, they've enabled NVIDIA support. Now, IVRY has been uh, working to get PSVR 2 working on PC for, I think, as long as the headset's been around. It's something everyone's been asking for for a very long time. And then, obviously, a little while ago, we got the announcement that he's officially coming from Sony. Now, currently, if you wanted, and you can do this right now if you wanted to back his Patreon, you could try, I think, I think it's the alpha version of IVRY and recently he showed Half-Life Alex running on PSVR 2 in sixth off using something called NOLO trackers. Now, NOLO trackers are very out of date. I don't think anyone's going to use them, but clearly things are definitely heating up in what is going to be quite a substantial move for PlayStation in regards to their newest headset. So currently at the moment, you would need something called a DP Link adapter, which you can buy, I think they're about $150. Now I could actually go out and buy this and try it right now, but I'm kind of on the fence of how Sony are gonna play this because if officially it's coming and what it's looking like is we're gonna bypass a PS5 completely, which is probably the biggest shocker of all. This is something I, I did not see coming. I really thought they wanted to keep everyone tied in the same hardware somehow, which is kind of why I was along the lines of thinking that it's gonna be like a Steam Link app via PS5. But it's looking like you will be able to plug it in directly to PC. Now, the one thing that's holding me back from trying it myself is buying the Virtual Link adapter that I just mentioned. And the reason for that is I'm not too sure whether when the official support is announced that Sony are going to basically somehow bypass this so you don't need an adapter. Otherwise, I think they're going to be selling them officially. If they've now officially said PC support is coming, they would have to create their own adapter uh, to make that happen. I just can't see them saying to everyone, yeah, PC support is now available, but you need to go and buy this adapter from some other third-party hardware manufacturer. And for those of you like me who have got the original PSVR and then you upgraded to a PS5, they actually provided an adapter for free. So who knows? Who knows whether they're gonna provide a adapter for free for PSVR 2 to use with PC? That's why I haven't really dived into it too much myself. Now, the biggest question I get off everyone is, how excited am I by the news? I am very excited about it, especially if they use the features of PSVR 2. That's kind of why I'm not really too fussed about using IVRY at the moment, because I want eye tracking. I want dynamic foveated rendering, I want headset haptics, and I want the adaptive triggers. Without the first two things I mentioned, eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering, I don't know if the image quality is gonna be that great on PSVR 2. As we've seen games that run in on PS5, the games just don't look that great. They look okay, but we already have seen when games utilize these features, the high quality visuals we get. So basically what I'm trying to say is, if right now, I had a PC and I didn't know which headset to get, a PSVR 2 hoping for the support, or say a Quest 3, which is, some people have asked me, like they wanna get into PC VR right now, I would consider just buying a Quest 2 at the moment, because one, they're only $200, two, you can then play it wirelessly, and you can start building your library ready for when PSVR 2 support does come. But me personally, I'm still gonna be using my Quest 3 and I'm not gonna get the virtual link adapter. I don't think, unless for some reason IVRY suddenly says, yep, if you buy this adapter, it just works flawlessly, then I would dive in. But right now, I'm still waiting for what Sony officially do. Because as I said, it, for some reason, my head just tells me that they're either gonna release their own adapter, which should be hopefully more affordable than the one you need to buy already for $150, or it's simply gonna be plug and play. We just don't know which way it's gonna go. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Would you guys consider going to buy this adapter now, or are you gonna wait to see what Sony does officially?